also wanted to add one more thing and clear something up um, that's been going around on the internet. And I guess a lot of preachers, a lot of so-called, you know, men of God, especially those TV preachers, you know, the ones that stand before, you know, friggin' congregation of like 10,000 people, the fake ones. Yeah, they're all fake. Those are the false prophets. Um, it's in regards to Psalm 91. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. I haven't heard it applied correctly one time. Psalm 91 has been twisted by every website I've seen. Even the news articles that actually quote Psalm 91 twist it the same way everybody else does. Um, a lot of people are standing behind Psalm 91 and applying it to themselves. And I can understand for the people who don't know the Word of God that well that you could read it and think that it applies to you, but it doesn't. Psalm 91, I'm not going to read it. Um, I'm sure most of you are, have already heard of it or read it on the internet by now. I mean, it's, it's going around like wild, wildfire. Psalm 91 is a prophecy about Jesus. It applies to Jesus. Read it. Read it very carefully. All of Psalms 91 is talking to Jesus. It applies to Jesus. And the reason I'm putting the truth out there right now is because I have a strong feeling there's a lot of you who bought into the f false doctrine that is surrounding Psalms 91. And I believe a lot of you caught the coronavirus and you're probably questioning how or why. Maybe you have a family member that caught it and you're like, but Psalm 91 says this. How can that happen? And it could be a, it, it could be a severe stumbling block to the children of God. And that is why it's being twisted all over the internet because the enemy knows what it means and so he's twisted it so that it has become a stumbling block for a lot of Christians or children of God I really don't like that word Christian it's a religious word I'm against religion uh, that's another story but just know Psalms 91 is a prophecy about Jesus before he came, you know, and died for us. So stop applying it to you. It doesn't apply to you. It applies to the Son of God. When he was here on this earth, he left. He's in heaven. That prophecy was fulfilled. I just wanted to clear that up.